Hi, it's Vishali. I am at Stamford Bridge uh, for Chelsea's Premier League game with Southampton. Team news is out. It's about half an hour to go before kickoff. And the big news for the home side is that Alvaro Morata is on the bench. Of course, um, I reported uh, last week that he was forced to pull out of a training session early. Uh, it turns out he's got uh, a problem in his back. Um, he's still experiencing pain in it despite missing that game. Uh, away to Huddersfield on Tuesday night um, but he is back in training he's actually out on the pitch at the moment um, but he doesn't start here today and that means that Eden Hazard uh, keeps his place up front in a 3-4-3 formation um, and he, you know, he started against Huddersfield on Tuesday and he gets to show what he can do in that position that false number nine position as it were uh, today he's flanked by Willian and Pedro um, and there's no other real surprises apart, apart from the fact that Bakayoko is back in the starting lineup and he plays next to Kante and Fabregas is being arrested here today um, so I'll be back at half time to see how this game between Chelsea and Southampton Southampton side who really need um, who really need the win um, how it's panning out Right, so it's half time. I am absolutely freezing um, as Chelsea have uh, taken a really, really late 1 um, 0 lead over Southampton. Um, the goal came through Marcus Alonso's free kick um, in the second minute of any time in the first half, and it came through a free kick uh, down this side. Uh, Yoshida gave away the free, the free kick, and uh, it looked like William was going to take it, but uh, Alonso took it, and you know, you know, Conte was happy that he took it because he. Uh, he managed to uh, send the ball just past Forster, who has been superb in his first half. I mean, I think he made four really good saves to deny Chelsea. It looked like they, you know, Southampton were going to go into the break nil-nil. Um, they started off really, really well. Um, they were pressing Chelsea. Um, Chelsea were making a, l a lot of mistakes. Conte, you know, he looked really frustrated here on the touchline. But Chelsea reacted well um, and they started to create the better of the chances. Um, Pedro hit the post, one of the best chances in the first half. But as it is, Chelsea do have the lead. Let's see whether or not they can double their advantage in the second half or whether or not Southampton will show a reaction um, and stun the champions. So it's ended 1-0 to Chelsea. They held on somehow in you know, those last 10 minutes or so. Southampton uh, really up their tempo in the last few minutes of this game to try and get something out of it or trying to find the equaliser. But Chelsea held on. They've gone uh, with the three points. They've now gone uh, temporarily to within 11 points of leading Man City. Of course, they play Tottenham, so they can... Uh, you know, they can um, extend that back to 14 points uh, if they beat Spurs um, but they are level on points with Man United who also play tomorrow um, and they play West Brom but um, yeah the second half was much much more entertaining than the first I have to say um, uh, Pellegrino he actually um, reacted to Alonso's goal um, by bringing on Austin and actually Austin was through on goal um, I think it was just within a minute of coming on um, and Courtois had to make a really good save to, to stop him from equalising um, Chelsea did get the uh, ball in the back of the Again, um, Hazard actually scored, um, but it was flagged as offside uh, on substitute Cesc Fabregas. Um, Alonso actually could have got a, a second goal, um, but Forster made another fine save. Um, and there was a bit of a frantic end to the game. It was, it was really end-to-end -end stuff. Um, really entertaining second half. Uh, but yeah, Chelsea have um, held on. They've gotten a narrow 1-0 win, and that's going to boost them um, ahead of uh, sort of the festive uh, fixtures coming up. The one thing I will point out, however, is that Marcos Alonso picked up, uh, some might say a cynical uh, late booking, um, and it means that because he's, he's now got five yellow cards, he will automatically miss Chelsea's next game. Now, um, it's believed that that's going to be the game against Bournemouth in the Carabao Cup, which I'm sure uh, Conte will not be too upset about, because of course they then go on to play Everton away. So, is that a cynical booking? Well, well, we'll see what Conte has to say. I'm going to head over to the press conference to see what Conte and Pellegrino have to say after this 1-0 win for Chelsea over Southampton.